All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Growing Guitar, an old goody here. And it's Sean Kingston with Beautiful Girls, or why not Ben E. King, Stand By Me. It's actually the same playing here in these two legendary songs from Sean Kingston and Ben E. King. So uh, this is one tutorial, two songs built in. Great, so let's take a look at this old goody. Everybody knows it pretty much. So if you learn this one, you're like a king pretty much. And that's what they have in common, Sean Kingston and Benny King, okay? So it's a nice song to learn pretty much. So let's take a look at this one without any capo, all right? So we have a couple chords to go over and uh, we'll basically use the bass strings from the actual chords but i want to teach out the full chords so let's do that we have a first all right so that is um, open a second d second g second b and open e right that's the first chord a then we have the f sharp minor it's a bar chord you play the bar on the second fret and you bar all strings there and then you need to add fourth on a and fourth on d then we have the D, and that goes open D, second G, third B, and second E. And the final chord is E. And it goes open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. Okay, so that's the chords, the basics for this song here, but we have notes in between, so we're gonna go right into this one, and it has one chord progression that goes and rolls through entire song with the same notes and everything. So let's start with A. So you're gonna play just a kick on the open A if you want to support it with the second D right under. You can do that as well, but focus on the open A. You're gonna play one down on the open A, then clap and then a down as well. That second down, I prefer to go not maybe full down, but a little bit extra kick there. So the first one is pretty much to highlight the bass note, which is the open A. If you wanna have the supported D under, like I mentioned, it's okay, but this clap and the next down there, I really want the supported strings under, but try to stay still on the bass area. Try to avoid the open E string there and B and like that. So try to stay at the mid bass area. So it starts with note, clap down, and then you continue with these two notes. And that is open E string in the bass and fourth E string in the bass. And that is one round of A. So, you're gonna do that for two rounds. So, then the second round will be open A and fourth E. So the notes in the first A will be open E and fourth E. Then the second A will be with the notes open A and fourth E. So slowly. Open E, fourth E, and then open A and fourth E. And that takes us to the next chord, which is the F sharp minor. Now you grab the chord. The note now you want to hit is the second fret E string. You're going to hit that one. Then the clap, and then the down on the F sharp minor. And then you play just one open E string. And then you start a next round on the F sharp minor where you play the same one note on the second fret the E string. And then clap, and down. And then you have two notes added, which is the second fret E string and open E string. Okay, so so far we learned A times two and F sharp minor times two. Slowly like this. Now we come to the D part. Now the note you will hit is the open D string. Then clap. 
and then a short downstroke. Try again to avoid the last E string and perhaps the B, so that it gives us just to make a, a short downstroke there on the D and G string, pretty much. So the pattern is the same, one down on the D, open D string, then clap, and then the little downstroke there. And then you add notes on the D string. It's the open D and fourth D. And that's the D part. Then you go over to the E. You're gonna play the same style here. You're gonna play the note, which is now the open E string. Then clap, down. And the notes are open E and fourth E. And that takes us to the final part here, which is to play A for two rounds. This time you play the notes in the same uh, way. So you're gonna play Okay, so that will be the open A string, and then clap, and down, and the notes now are the open E string and fourth E, in the same way you started this melody. So two times of that in the end, and then it starts again with double A, two rounds of A. So it will be A, A in the end of the melody, and it starts again with A, A. And that is one round, and it goes like that through the entire song. So slowly it goes like this. There you have it guys, it isn't harder than that. Sean Kingston's or Benny King's Stand By Me, Beautiful Girls, whatever you wanna call it. Nice song to learn and have with you in your arsenal. Thank you for watching guys, and if this was helpful, let me know, give me a like on this tutorial, and subscribe to this channel. Be a part of this family, and I'm so happy for that. So thank you, and play tuned.